Yes, great evening to all the lovely participants. I would like to welcome Mr. Abhay, Divya, Gautam, Rasika, Realme GT Master Edition. Okay, wonderful name. Satish, Mr. Srinivas, Srinivasa Reddy, Pranjali, welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for coming and, 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 and your wonderful presence. It's a pleasure for me to be here today. I have met some of you before, but for people who don't know me, I'm responsible for annoying all of you. Yes, you have heard it right. I'm responsible for annoying all of you by means of the classes and workshops that may enable you to improve upon your relationships with your boss, with your partner, and of course, most importantly, with yourself. By adding the credits to your public speaking skills. I know some of you have come along a long way from office and your outings to be with us today. Now, before coming to the session, I was uh, trying to write, I was just trying to think that what could be the session? How can I go about the session? What can I teach? What should I talk about? What should I discuss? And then I had a realization. The realization was that you and I are going to die in next 50 years. Of course, if God blesses us, hence to make sure that your message reach out to people. Let us work together in bringing your story heard by improving upon your presentation skills. The purpose of this workshop is to come to a decision concerning your presentation skills. The talk is designed to act as a springboard for brainstorming on mindset and the template that you need to act in accordance to see phenomenal changes in your presentation skills. We are short of time and I will try to be as brief as possible. In the course of the presentation today, I will cover two major things. Firstly, we are going to understand the effective and engaging ways to start your presentation. And secondly, we will learn presentation vocabulary. In doing so, I will share ready-to-made template that you can use to sound appealing in your next presentation. Please hold your questions until the end of my presentation. There will be time for all of you. I will personally take each and every one of your questions. I'm convinced that this talk will assure you about the ways to springboard your thoughts and speech. So let's begin. Uh, how many of you are excited for me to begin? Please type I in the chat section. Let me see how many of you are excited. By means of your, oh my God, that's wonderful. I can see I, 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 and so on. That clearly shows your determination towards improving upon your presentation skills. This topic is something that I wanted to cover since a lot, as a lot of people have requested me to come and share some inputs and insights on how to go about official meeting presentations, how to go about speaking in front of people, how to go about appealing confident, what kind of words, phrases, idioms do we need to use? Well, today I'm going to break one myth. The myth is that all of us have this preconceived notion that if we know a lot of vocabulary, it is going to add some credits, some inputs to our presentation. And that is not true at all. In fact, it's not the words that you pick. It's the choice of words. It's the words that you already have and how you play with it determines the kind of presentation that you will be giving. The presentation is divided in two parts, of course. It's going to cater two most important things. First of all, the kind of mindset that you need to improve upon your presentation skills. And second, ready-to-made template that you can use. So stay till the end, because if you miss even a single minute of the session, unfortunately, it will be a loss of our time. So on that note, let's begin. Let me share the slide. So how many of you would like me to share the slide? Please type I in the chat section. 
are you excited do you feel that this workshop can bring some marvelous phenomenal change in the way you conduct workshops superb amazing that's great wonderful thank you so much for all of your active participation now let me take you to the presentation that i have prepared for all of you and i'd request all of you to please keep notebook and pen also keep on taking screenshots if necessary because uh, this is going to help you a lot 79% of people agree that most presentations are boring whenever somebody speaks or whenever we speak we feel that how to go about giving presentation how to sound more attractive more appealing more catchy in fact there is a data the data shows by venega it's one of the organizations that is responsible for producing the charts on career success it says that 70% of american employees believe giving captivating presentations is critical crucial skill for work success so let's see that what 70% of people are missing out and how we can be more effective in giving presentation skills effective and engaging ways to start your presentations because you need to understand one thing that when you give any kind of presentations the audience decides in first 15 seconds whether they should listen to you or not so it is your utmost responsibility to make these 15 seconds the best 15 seconds of the presentation you can come out with so many articles that of course i'm going to be sharing today you can come across you can use so many utilities that will definitely give you an edge provided that once i share it it completely depends upon the scenario in which you are you can use it you can articulate your thoughts and you can elocute you elocute elo, uh, elocute this in the best possible way so let's see how we can make the starting more engaging because that's the most important part of any presentation so if i take you back to my presentation so here is the first and foremost important thing please stay till the end because the bonus template is also there for you so so much i have to be i have uh, today so please stay till the end So the first important thing in giving presentation is to share the anecdote in short story. Anecdote means nothing but story. The story that people could connect with. A lot of times we make the mistake. The mistake is when we start presentation, we just go on a normal tone by saying, "Good morning" or "Good evening." I am Arindam, and I'm glad and feeling humble. to be honest no one is feeling humble no one is feeling humble nowadays so if i give my introduction by telling that i am humble that you have come i'm humble that you have shown your presence when it is not the presentation that people were expecting always remember the first thumb rule of giving presentation is to create the suspense in mind of the audience if there is no suspense there is no wonder people are going to feel bored and soon they will lose the track of your presentation so when you start your presentation with a story in fact i am going to do that it's not that i'm just going to share the tips i will do that so let's take a topic called technology i have to start my presentation on technology that's the topic i'm choosing random topics So how can I go about it? How can I start my presentation on technology? I can say that I still remember three years back. I was traveling from Shimla to Delhi. In doing so, I was quite busy looking out and collecting some pictures in my mind. While I could see far from where I was sitting, there were cup. There was a couple. and they were completely busy in their phones and i wondered how technology had captivated how technology had an impact in our life in, instead of enjoying the physical the natural reality they were busy in the virtual reality technology is definitely important 
and that's why the topic of my today's session is i'm going to discuss about the technology and how we can use it in the best possible way so that we can extract the maximum out of it ladies and gentlemen today i arindam is going to make sure that i will make next 15 minutes of presentation the best presentation by sharing facts figures and analogies that will help to support my presentation have you noticed that while starting while giving a speech on technology i started with a story and it can be any story it can be my own story it can be any incident that happened to any of my colleagues friends family etc when you start your presentation with a story or anecdote it engages your audience in the first 15 seconds you give your audience something that they were not expecting they were expecting good morning good evening that same mundane introduction but when you start your presentation with story any experience of yours it really matters a lot that's the first and foremost important thing that is always start your presentation by means of story if not then let's go to the next point how you can start your presentation by means of quotation you can use quotations internet is filled and primed with multiple quotations quotation depends on the kind of presentation that you have to give whether it is a presentation that you need to give in front of your family of course in family as well we sometimes are allowed to come and speak out sometimes you have to give presentation in front of your office let me take an example to show you to demonstrate how to go about it how to use quotation so imagine that i have to speak on a topic and the topic is all about public speaking that is a topic i'm taking random topic and i have to start my speech first first way is to start with a story that i have already conveyed second how can i start this presentation on public speaking my topic is public speaking so how can i start i can use the quotation here it goes so much is said with the electricity of the eyes the intensity of a whisper less is more a famous quotation by elizabeth taylor where she specifically quoted how important your silence is there is a famous saying in english that if your silence is more powerful than words then keep your mouth shut but in public speaking we have to speak more so ladies and gentlemen i would like to welcome all of you in this wonderful evening on a topic which i am going to cover today which is nothing but pre public speaking how to go about it how to speak in a way that people should be silent while they should be listening to me I'm going to share some tips, tricks, tools, and strategies that you can use to have an effective, powerful, and public speaking skills. Can you see that when I started, I started with quotation. That's the second way. If there is another topic, for example, do not give up. Let's take a topic called "Don't give up." I'm going to use that winners don't do different things; they do things differently. famous quote by shiv khera and that's what i'm about to speak on today ladies and gentlemen a very good evening i would like to welcome all of you on this amazing evening wherein i would make sure that by just maneuvering a little bit of how you speak you can become an effective public speaker so can you see that when you start something if you have quotation in your hand quotation could be depending upon the topic on which you have to give the presentation it can really create a catchy and an appealing appealing uh, aura that your audience is going to pick up that's the second mantra always start your presentation either by story or using quotations but let's see the third point and i'm sure you are making notes please keep a note of it because i'm 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 hundred percent sure that we are good in forgetting, so we will forget. So it's better to keep a note of it. Next is compliment. My God, we are human beings, isn't it? We all love compliments. We have emotions. 
imagine if you compliment others if you have seen in the beginning itself i complimented all of you i thanked all of you for taking your time for coming giving me your precious one hour to help me out with your presentation skills when you thank your audience in fact there is a rule thumb rule says that in every 15 minutes at least you should say something so that your audience feel relished and cherished that's the third point always compliment your audience you can start your presentation with story anecdote you can also start your presentation with quotation but in doing so never ever forget to com compliment your audience because of course they are your listeners without audience there is no meaning of presentation third point let's go to the next one but before going further i would like to make sure that no one no one no one of you is sleeping so please type a a for active i am active please type a in the chat section let me see how many of you are awake before i move ahead okay a all right i can see everyone is active good very nice perfect wonderful let's go ahead let's go ahead and let's see the next way to start the presentation and here goes the next one which is data always use data it can be act it it can act as a reference always and always use data if possible for example let's say there is a topic on which i have to speak for example it is power of thinking that is a topic that i have to speak on so how, how can i start of course by story or quotation i can always start but if i have to give any data i could say that every day every minute we come across 35000 thoughts the thought that you choose to act upon can decide your fate ladies and gentlemen i would like to welcome all the participants i'm feeling great to be helping you to be guiding you to be mentoring you on how to pick up your thoughts so that you can elevate and bring the most out of your life because as napoleon hill in his famous books think and grow rich says the way you think is the way you act and the way you act is how you attract success on that note let's start our presentation on power of thoughts can you see that in the beginning i shared one fact which is every single minute we come across 35000 thoughts you can choose any data anything pertaining to the presentation because data attracts people data literally attracts people when you share data people get blown away when you share data they notice nobody wants to miss out on anything in first 15 seconds if you bring data then definitely they are going to be listening to you with an expectation that in upcoming slides you are going to be sharing lot of data so always remember if you have data with you it's really going to have an edge while giving presentation skills let's move ahead data or reference facts you can also talk about facts it's really important facts and data it's quite different fact means any information related to the topic any information related to your office presentation for instance let's say the topic on which i have to speak on is depression just a random topic i definitely need to do a little research before coming and speaking on this topic so the known fact is so how how am i going to start on this topic called depression study shows that one out of every 8 person in america has been going through depression it has been a tremendous source of stress in countries not in abroad but india as well post pandemic we could see that every third person out of one every one person out of three in india have shown the symptoms of depression so good evening ladies and gentlemen today i am arindam standing in front of you and i'm going to talk about how we can cope up with depression when we come across any symptoms how to identify and how to work how to consult whom to consult 
and what kind of ailments and procedural measures we can take to springboard our thoughts and get the desired result, get out of depression. So have you noticed that while speaking about depression, I shared the facts. One out of every eight people in America and one out of every third person in India has been under depression. So when you share facts, it's a kind of data, but again, it's a fact. People pay attention to it. Again, everything that you are doing is to have an effective starting of presentation. Always try to be creative around the points that I'm sharing because it is going to help you to win those first 15 seconds. As I mentioned earlier, that in first 15 seconds, people decide whether they should be listening to you or not. So make sure that you use all the points that I'm sharing with you. I hope it's exciting. How many of you are excited? Do you want me to share the next slide? If yes, please type O in the chat section. O means oh-ho. Please type O in the chat section. Let me see how many of active listeners are there. Oh, 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 my God. That's wonderful. Great. Oh, ho. That's really great. Wonderful. Perfect. Let's go to the next part of the presentation. Super, super. Really amazing. I love my audience. I love all of you. See, even I am also appreciating you. Compliment your audience. Always compliment your audience. If you do so, your audience is going to be listening to you. Right? Let's move on. Let's move on to the next slide to see how we can start our presentation and here it is make them do an activity what kind of activity especially if it is a virtual meeting you might have noticed that while conducting the workshop even i also engage you in activity i keep on asking you questions are you excited do you want me to go ahead how many of you are excited in doing so i I make sure that you participate by means of chat section. Similarly, when you have an audience, you need to make the audience do some activity. If you make them do some activity, you can ensure that they are active. You can, in the beginning of the presentation itself, let's say the topic is uh, motivation, for example, or leadership. So in the beginning itself, you can ask from the audience, how many of you feel that leadership is one of the most crucial, innate, and effective skill in any organization by show of hands? Definitely the audience is going to raise their hand. How many of you believe that by learning this one important skill, you can expect tremendous growth in your organization by show of hands? Again, the audience is going to raise hands. You can say, how many of you feel that you desperately need to work upon this skill because if you master this skill, you can attract three times of amount that you hold right now by raise of hands. People are not only going to raise hands, but they are going to listen to you because you have asked three important questions of the topic called leadership. Now in the beginning itself, if you say good morning, good evening, this side and them today, I have come to speak on leadership. No one, no one is going to listen to you. Why? Because again, it's a boring, boring startup. You have started on a note that they were always expecting. But if you start like that, you make them do an activity, bang on. They will stay with you throughout the presentation. Always engage your audience. It can be by means of doing some activity, by making them answer on certain questions, by asking some questions to them, so that they can respond. And in doing so, you can make sure that they keep on listening to you. Move on, let's go to the next slide, make them do an activity. And here goes the next one, long pause, my God. This is one of the effective techniques that you can use to give presentations. When you go, the audience is expecting you to speak. But imagine you are on stage, you smile and keep a pause of five seconds.
the audience may feel what is my internet connection proper or is my earphone working or not or am i awake or where am i i cannot listen to anything bang on we have brought the attention of the audience the audience is going to pay close attention to you what's what's going on arindam is speaking nothing shrinivas is speaking nothing jijo is speaking nothing divya is speaking nothing they were supposed to speak that is called power of silence in the beginning of the presentation itself instead of saying anything just be there and maintain silence for first 5 seconds just look at people and you can catch their attention even without saying anything you can catch their attention that is how and that is how much important to work upon the power of pause in doing so you create the suspense have you seen in horror movies that when they have to bring something unexpected they maintain a deliberate long pause and all of a sudden they show you some scary thing you got scared why to maintain the suspense the exact same strategy you need to use in your presentation skills maintain the suspense because that is where the magic lies great and i can see all of you silently listening to me that also is a skill great the next important thing yes is prop what is prop how we can use prop it is also important prop is nothing but the kind of utility that you use you use that and connect this utility with your presentation imagine i have to speak on let's say my topic is happiness let's say i have to give a presentation and my topic is happiness and i'm going to use prop to demonstrate how to go about it so here i am can you see this remote it's the remote of air conditioner i can use it to turn off and turn on the ac similarly each one of you have the remote the remote to turn out to turn on your emotions you want to be happy you have the remote of your life you have to be sad that too is in your control hello ladies and gentlemen great evening to all of you today arindam i am speaking in front of you and today we are going to work together to have the remote control of our happiness we are going to see how we can check upon our emotions to maintain the momentum and consistency of happiness are you ready to be happy with me if yes by show of hands this is how you use prop prop means you have an object you use it and you connect this prop with the topic when you do that people again pay attention because you do something you did something that they were not expecting always come up with some creative ideas to make the speech more engaging the way i did it was a random topic the remote was there in front of me i did it similarly you will also figure out your ways to use props wonderful great i can see all of you listening to the presentation really closely and the next technique that i am about to share is latest news you can always use the fact of news as well while giving presentation you can always use news as well let me demonstrate it in front of you imagine i have an office meeting i am the team leader i have to address my employees and i want to discuss about work from home policy so here here i am the team has come in front of me and i can say the news today's news headline says that people have started going back to their offices people have started resuming their offices the data shows that tcs has been operating on 87% of work from office employees on that regard company has also decided to resume our offline office work again so today 
ladies and gentlemen i have come here to speak on work from home policy and i would be glad to take your inputs on it how we can go about resuming our office what's your input and at the end we are going to conclude by looking into the feedback and the projections received from each one of you to see whether we can start work from office or not so have you noticed that in the beginning i stated i i took the piece of news that tcs has decided to operate on 87% of work from office i took that fact from the news headline to ensure that i am not bluffing and the employees are also listening to me they can accept that yes work from office has started instead of giving them order that from tomorrow you have to come to office i have mentioned that see this is the news headline the objective of the presentation the meeting is to discuss the pros and cons of office from work from office and at the end we are going to conclude and have a decision so when you do that you can you connect with your employees your team and at the same time they respect you so you can always use news headlines as well to start your presentation and of course it should be relevant to your topic great let's look into the last point and then we are going to discuss about the phrases and vocabs that you can use in presentation start with humor start with a joke now this is my one of my favorites how to start presentation with a joke come on arindam this is a presentation this is not something there uh, we can go and it's not a comedy hunt well i'm not asking you to do comedy just a little joke to lighten up the mood for example let me do it how many of you like traffic by show of hands please type i in the chat section if you like traffic traffic please type i if you don't like traffic please type n and for no how many of you like traffic if yes then type y if no then type n in the chat section okay sushma raju you do not like traffic nobody likes traffic i can see all of you typing no 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 guess what i love traffic i love traffic traffic in my workshop when a lot of people come and attend the workshop i love it so without any further ado let's come to the topic of our presentation which is how to have an impeccable leadership skills see a little humor a little joke out of something traffic that's it a normal topic a normal joke little bit joke little bit humor it can act and it can definitely help you getting the attention of the audience because they were not expecting it and you do it to lighten up their mood to cherish them great thank you so much all of you have stayed till here all the 17 participants now we are moving to the next section of the presentation which is some ready to make templates that you can use to have an effective business presentation or present or presentation in front of your colleagues or in your social circle as well so let's give it a go let's go ahead presentation vocabulary as promised i'm going to use some presentation vocabularies that i used people who are with me since beginning i used all of the vocabs let's begin introducing a speaker for example you are a host speaker is somebody else now being a host how can you introduce a speaker because that is again an art it's not always that you will be speaking in presentation sometimes you have to introduce somebody else to come and speak you cannot say that sir please come and give presentation well that's not going to work how you can introduce you can use a phrase like could i please have your attention for a moment you can ask your audience being a host could i please have your attention for a moment use that phrase to grab the attention you can also say thank you for taking the time to be with us today this is how you are supposed to be speaking being a host thank you for taking the time to be with us today now let's go to the next one 
the next one is now i'd like to hand over to mr our hr director mr means after mr you can use the name of the speaker you can state the name of the speaker for example let's say the speaker of the day is uh, for example gotham so i can say being a host now i would like to hand over to mr gotham our hr director so can i please have your moment uh, for uh, so how how can i start my presentation by saying could i please have your attention for a moment thank you for taking the time to be with us today now i would like to hand over to mr gotham our hr director that's how you can start being a host or you can also say i'm very pleased to introduce mr gotham who will now make a brief presentation concerning our company's growth strategy for 2022 mr gotham when you are ready so this is another way to welcome your speaker you can say i'm very pleased to introduce mr gotham then after that you can state the topic who will now make a brief presentation concerning our company's growth strategy for 2022 then i will look to mr gotham and say mr gotham when you are ready instead of calling mr gotham so mr gotham please come and speak i am looking at mr gotham with a positive smile mr gotham when you are ready that means i am telling mr gotham be ready because you have to come and speak these are the effective ways to introduce a speaker in any presentation you can take the screenshot of this and you can take the screenshot of this this is how you can welcome the speaker in the presentation but let's say you are the speaker so how to go about it let's see that when you are the speaker how you are supposed to speak introducing yourself now you are in front of people you are supposed to be giving the session workshop or presentation you can say it's a pleasure for me to be here today it's a pleasure for me to be here today you can also say it's an honor for me to be here today of course you can start the presentation using all the elements that i shared with you and at the end you can say it's a pleasure for me to be here today they can also say it's an honor for me to be here today or i have met some of you before but for people who don't know me i'm responsible for your salary cuts and also salary hikes i lead the hr function at name of the company this is just an an anomaly you can use or you can put anything in the third third way to introduce yourself for example in the beginning if you are with me i have also mentioned that i have met some of you before but for people who don't know me i am responsible for annoying you by conducting workshops every saturday to give you the utmost value that will ensure that you get the maximum and you become an effective communicator so when you start your speech when you introduce your speech by adding little humor to it you get attention you can use any of the template you can use any of the sentences to have a remarkable introduction you can take the screen a screenshot of this it can definitely help you you can use this template and then you can make little modifications to have an amazing introduction let's go ahead referring to the audience what is this when your audience is in front of you you definitely need to refer to them it's not that you always keep on speaking and they keep on listening to you you can say that i know some of you have come a long way to be with us today i hope the journey to our company was not too difficult let's say in the presentation some of the delegates have come from outskirts you are based out in bangalore but the audience has come from new delhi calcutta so while giving your presentation you appreciate remember compliment that was the third point of starting the presentation you can say i know some of you have come a long way to be with us today i hope the journey to our company was not too difficult 
again you can use this template make necessary changes and craft it as per your need you can also say i know the traffic was very difficult this morning you are appreciating indirectly that you care about their presence you care about their time if it is evening or afternoon you can say i know the traffic was very difficult in the afternoon when you say this you are appreciating their efforts and time and they are also going to feel good these are some modalities that you can use to start your presentations you are referring to the audience you have welcomed them you have introduced yourself now you are referring to the audience you can take the screenshot of this as well it's definitely going to help you if you have noticed i also did that in the beginning of the workshop even i also did that i hope you have taken the screenshot if yes please type y in the chat section can you understand can you resonate with what i am speaking if yes please type y in the chat section let me see how many of you are awake great raju wonderful response great ms divya gautam abdul rasika mr satish great out of 18 people only six responses great what about others please do wake up champions it's your day from today onwards you are going to have best presentations isn't it don't you feel it's interesting you can attract abundance you can have a significant change in your presentation style of course with your daily english classes you can also add that wonderful great thank you let's move on to the next slide and here it goes stating the objective before starting the presentation you must tell your audience what's the objective of the presentation do not feel or do not believe that they know it they have come out through a lot of hassle and it is your responsibility as a speaker to tell them the theme the objective of the presentation you can say the subject of my talk is dot 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 you can state the topic it can be annual meeting it can it can be anything or you can say you and i are going to die in next 50 years that's that's what i used if you remember hence to make sure that your message reach out to people let us work together in bringing your story heard by improving on your presentation skills remember when i started speaking on the importance of presentation skills this is how i started this is how i created the objective i knew that you all of have come here to learn presentation skills but that's a unique way remember the fifth slide how to start your presentation by creating some story by creating an anecdote by creating some facts here the fact is next 50 years all of us will die so make sure that you bring the best out of yourself by improving upon your presentation skills you can also say i'm going to explain our position in the indian market you can use the phrase i am going to explain you can use the phrase i am going to explain then after that your topic can come so you can either start or the last point is i'm going to inform you about recent changes in hr policies you can also use this phrase i am going to inform you these are the phrases that you need to use after that what i have used just to give you an example so you can use the phrase the subject of my talk is or you can create a story you can share the fact you can also say i am going to explain and then dash 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 you can put up your content or you can also say i am going to inform you dash 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 put up the topic that's how you can state the objective because the objective needs to be clear people need to know what they have come for they should be very clear you can take the screenshot and you can use these phrases add these phrases in your presentation to sound effective i believe you have taken the screenshot let's move ahead let's see what else is there purpose objective of course it is quite similar to state the objective so let's see what is there you can say the purpose of this meeting is to come to a decision concerning sponsorship and advertising policy you can use this phrase the purpose of this meeting is to come 
to a discussion concerning dash. After concerning, you can put your concern. Imagine it is about company growth. You can say the purpose of this meeting is to come to a decision concerning the growth chart of our company. If it is regarding marketing or sales, you can say the purpose of this meeting is to come to a decision concerning the marketing strategies that we are going to have, we are going to implement in the next quarter. So you can use this phrase still concerning and then you can craft the remaining sentence. It can completely be up to the topic of the presentation. You can also say the talk is designed to act as a springboard. You can use this vocab called springboard means discuss. The talk is designed to act as a springboard for discussion or brainstorming on dash. For example, let's say the topic of the discussion is how to improve upon, uh, how to improve employee retention rate. So we can say the talk is designed to act as a springboard for brainstorming on how to have maximum employee retention. The talk is designed to act as a springboard for brainstorming on work from home policy. It can be anything. You just need to use this phrase and after on, you need to add the subject, the headline of the presentation. You can also use this phrase. I have called this meeting to have your feedback. You can use this phrase. I have called this meeting. After that, the topic of the meeting. I have called this meeting to discuss about our upcoming marketing strategies. I've called this meeting to discuss about the ongoing challenges that we have in our sales department, anything. But you can use this phrase called, I have called this meeting. Or you can also use this phrase, I'm going to spotlight. I'm going to spotlight. Then after that, the topic, the topic of the presentation. For example, you can say, I'm going to spotlight the features, functions, and benefits of our new product. I'm going to spotlight the penetration that we are going to do in USA, in American market. I'm going to spotlight the tools and techniques you need to become an effective communicator. Anything. You can use this phrase, I'm going to spotlight, and then after the topic of your presentation. Use that. And yes, you can also use the last and one of my favorite lines, which is my aim today is to put you in the picture concerning topic of the day, topic of the presentation. For example, right now we are discussing about presentation skills. So I can say my aim today is to put you in the picture concerning how to be an effective communicator and give marvelous presentations. Use this phrase. My aim today is to put you in the picture concerning dash the topic of the presentation you can take the prints uh, you can take the screenshot of this slide it will literally help you before beginning your presentation i hope you are done with taking with taking the screenshot let's move on to the next part of the presentation which is duration and timing of course while starting your presentation, you must tell your audience how much time is it going to take else somebody can ask in between that ma'am or sir, I have to go. So please make sure you state the time. You can say my presentation will last approximately 20 minutes. They will be mentally prepared that for next 20 minutes, we have to be hyper attentive. You can also say I shall only take 20 minutes of your time. Sounds cool. This meeting should only last 40 minutes. They are also aware that if the meeting starts at 7.30, it's going to end at 8.20. Completely clear image. Always convey this before beginning your meetings. This meeting is due to finish at 10.30. You can mention the time at which the meeting can end, possibly end. This meeting is due to finish at 10.30. If you remember when I started my presentation, I used the last phrase. We are short of time, so I will try to be as brief as possible. You can also use that. 
you can also use this phrase as well before beginning the presentation to ensure that you get the attention and people know exactly for how long they are supposed to sit you should be very clear they are short of time so i will try to be as brief as possible you can take the screenshot these are five different ways to begin your presentation when it comes to talking about time i hope i believe that you have taken the present uh, screenshot let's move on to the next one which is outline main parts before beginning the presentation set the stage tell what they can expect you have stated the objective you have mentioned the time but also tell what they can expect in the presentation you can say in the course of my presentation i will deal with four main issues in the course of my presentation i will deal with four main issues you can also say i have divided presentation into four parts so that they can keep a note of it if your audience is listening to you they are very clear that mr gautam for example or ms anita has four points to talk about so here you can go i have divided my presentation into four parts firstly i would like to begin by looking at our new budget in the second part i'll move on to discuss software development thirdly we will examine together the pros and cons of investing in work from home utilities finally we will study together the different possibilities concerning the new wages schedule i've just prepared a random uh, prepared some random sentences it's simply that even before going ahead make sure that you tell the audience what they can expect in the presentation either by telling in the course of my presentation i will deal with four main issues or three or whatever it is or you can also tell i have divided my presentation into four parts so that your audience should be very clear your your team member should be very clear that okay we have three main issues that we are going to discuss upon in the meeting it should not go haywire like you just start without stating the purpose without telling the audience what they can expect what they are supposed to be doing in the presentation always outline main parts it will really help the listener it will really help even your clients as well if you are in sales if you do the sales call you can do that so that your clients should say that you respect time so you can take the screenshot of it we can take the necessary screenshot because now we just are about to finish the presentation let's move on to the next one the timing of questions yes tell them in the beginning itself when can they ask questions you can say please don't hesitate please don't hesitate to interrupt me if you have any questions <laughs> if you have any questions feel free to interrupt at any moment if that is what you are okay with you can also say please hold your questions until the end of my presentation this is how i start my presentations always please hold your questions until the end of my presentation so that you are very clear that i can ask questions but at the end there will be a time for your questions at the end of my talk sounds cool these are the four ways by which you can tell people when they can ask questions of course in presentations we people are going to ask questions they are going to raise their values their feedback so you can take the screenshot these are the ways to start your presentation right take the screenshot i believe you have taken it benefit statement what is means what's the benefit of this presentation tell them up front you can say i know you are all directly concerned by these changes or i'm sure this talk will help you understand the current situation the second line i would highly recommend all of you to use it because the first line is subjective you can use the second line that i'm sure this talk will help you understand the current situation you can use i'm sure this talk will help you understand then you can choose your own phrases i'm sure this talk will help you understand the nuances that you have been missing out in giving effective presentations you can choose to come out with your own sentences but use these phrases benefit statements are always necessary you can say i'm convinced that this talk will 
reassure you about the current situation. You can also use this phrase. I'm convinced that this talk will reassure you. Then after that, you can state the objective of the topic of the presentation. I'm convinced that this talk will reassure you about the recent modifications that we are planning to do in work from home policy. I'm convinced that this talk will reassure you about the recent client that we have cracked and how to go about it. Anything you can think of. And last is, I hope by the end, you will be able to take the wise decision. Of course, the end last phrase depends on the kind of discussion or presentation that you are doing. I hope by the end, you will be able to take the wise decision. You can take the screenshot of this benefit statement as well. And definitely you can, if you start writing the, them down, you will start connecting the dots and see how you can use them. I believe you have taken the work uh, screenshot. Now let's go to the starting part. Finally, you are done with starting. You are done with all the phrases, all the concepts of starting. So it's high time to start the presentation. And here it goes. You can say, let's get started. You can also say, so shall we start? Shall we make a start? After using all those phrases that I have told. Okay, let's get down to business. You can also say, okay, let's get down to business and start your presentation. Or you can say, I'd like to start by asking you the following question. You can ask questions to the audience. The questions which you feel that they need to answer before you start the presentation. Like the way I did while talking about leadership, how many of you feel that leadership is one of the most crucial factors to determine your salary by show of hands? That was the kind of question that I asked. You can use that. So here it goes, you can start the presentation. And at the end, I would like to say that in today's course of presentations, we discussed three things. First of all, how to start your presentations, how important and effective the first 15 seconds are, and how you can come up with creative solutions to make the best 15 seconds of your presentation. Then after we discussed about the ways by which you can use, you can start your presentation. There were different sentences and phrases that we have discussed upon. And at the end, we talked about the vocabs that you can use to start your presentation. Have you noticed one thing that in giving all of these sentences, there was not even a single complicated vocab that I used. All the vocabs were up to the mark. It's not the kind of vocab that you learn. It's the vocab. It's how you put, how you position them is what makes you an effective presenter. We always think that we need to use an exquisite vocab. Absolutely, you can. However, just by using certain phrases, just by using certain style of speech, you can have a remarkable impact and an amazing presentation skills. So on that note, I would like to rest my speech for the day. The session is now open for Q&A, as promised. In case if you have any questions, if you want to share any feedback, I'm open for that. And on that note, I would like to thank all of you for coming and giving me your precious 58 minutes. Thank you so much. Yes, now you can unmute your audio if you have anything, if you want to ask anything, discuss anything, now it's the time. So yes, if you want to share your uh, feedback, I'm open to that. How was your experience? And do you feel that you can use all of these phrases? If yes, please type Y. Yes, Mr. Srinivas, go ahead. Hi, Randam. A very good evening, everyone. So uh, as always, this today this topic is also really uh, it's a lot of information we get to hear and I, I'm able to take uh, notes as well. Will it be uh, will you be able to send any uh, slides or something about the one because I took a lot of notes but hope I'm not missing something you know a lot of information is there 
I'm trying to write the best I can, but uh, looks like you know I might miss some slides. So will it be fine if you can able to share that one? Sure, sure. You will get the recording, and at the same time, you will also get the PDF of the presentation. Thank you so much, Arindam. And uh, Arindam, uh, I have a small query. Uh, uh, generally, we will be seeing lot many presentations. They'll be putting some kind of uh, cartoons and uh, and other uh, formats. So, uh, what do you recommend? Uh, does it really even in even in the uh, you know in the office meetings, right? We generally see uh, these kind of uh, pictures. Do you really recommend those pictures? Nowadays, uh, definitely, I would recommend. However, instead of going to pictures, use analytics. Use analytics. There, there is an option in PowerPoint where you will get that. Mm -hmm. You can use those analytics, and that will be more impactful rather than using any picture, because uh, it is not as per me. It is as per the Harvard University review, which they did in year two thousand and eighteen. So I would highly recommend you that if uh, you really want to go ahead, you can use that. There is no problem. However, use that, uh, use that, uh, use uh, the the analytics. Items, yes, that yeah. analytics to give yeah. you. And uh, another query I have. Uh, normally, when we when we present the PPT, just an example. Uh, whether the content should speak more or the presenters presenters should speak more because uh, for example there's a small for example uh, there's a small topic about uh, uh, you know work from home for example right so we will have the facts and figures and all this data we will be presenting right so do you recommend to uh, the, the presentation itself should speak or the presentation the presenter should speak How, what what is the combination you'd recommend Yes, so it can. It is seventy thirty. That's the combination that you need to use. Wherein seventy percent of the content should be spoken by you, and okay. thirty percent should reflect on your presentation. So, so that means we need to keep always some data with our uh, while we presenting the data. There should be some data which should be hidden, correct. right? Absolutely. Then only we will be able to make the presentation uh, uh, more interesting. Am I right? Absolutely, you got okay. the point. Okay. Thanks, Ramnam. That's actually a wonderful. <laughs> I get to know a lot many things, many things which I'll try to implement. As always, you've always been the top. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Srinivas. It means a lot. And for sure, I will share the recording and the respective document. You Thank reference. you so much. Thank you so much. That really helps. Thank Most you. Welcome. Thanks, everyone. Now, if anybody else wants to say something, if you have anything, you can unmute your audio and you can speak up if you have anything. Yeah, I can see somebody unmuting. Yes, yes, Raju, please go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Arindam, for this wonderful session. A uh, lot of wisdom you shared about presentation skills. Definitely it helped for me to improve myself as well as everyone who are here. And uh, I have one question, like, uh, you started with the many uh, anecdote quotations and everything, right? So, for example, I, have an, I want to start with a question. So, mm -hmm. on what category of uh, presentation I can start with the quotation questions? Questions? For example, initially, so, yeah. Yeah, initially, I want to start with the question. Yeah, so it depends, kind of... on, yeah, it depends on the context of your presentation. So, every okay. single presentation demands you to come out with different techniques. There is a presentation where you need to ask your questions. Maybe there might be another topic wherein you need to use story. So it depends on the topic and the kind of context that you have. Maybe you have come up with a recent news article, which is quite applicable to the kind of topic which you should be speaking. So use that news. So it depends on the kind of context or the topic, Raju. There is a, no any fixed theme for any particular uh, technique. You can choose depending upon the kind of topic which you have to speak on. And definitely every topic demands you to come out with different questions. You can use different question sets to engage your audience. And over a period of time, when you practice, you will come to know how to do that. So use all the phrases that I have provided to you and start making notes. Use all the slides 
pick one topic in particular let's say the topic is leadership and 